Hello. Welcome back to another Source SDK 101 video tutorial. Um, today we're focusing on the Counter-Strike Global Offensive SDK and today we're going to be learning about sunlight underscore shadow underscore control and this is basically one of the many entities that makes up the beautiful shadows that you see in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now we're on the same map that I've used previously which I said I was going to use for tutorials and all I've done since the last one is put a light environment in and set it to the ideal settings for the dust skybox which is what which is the one that I have set for this map currently so with that I'm going to take this and copy it over and make so do this make your light environment to whatever you want and then shift drag it over so you have the same exact one and then make it a sunlight underscore shadow control and now what you would do is since I copied this directly over it automatically shares the same pitch y'all roll and light color and um, as the one actually it doesn't have the same light color but it shares the same pitch y'all roll which is what what we wanted it makes it a little easier start disabled no you want them on um, entity scripts these are all things that are lots of different uh, things that you know I'm not going to mess with now and so now for the light color we're going to copy the brightness from here and put that into here for the color of the sunlight and there is your light color it's exactly the same as the light environment that is what we want and now the rest can be tweaked to um, whatever you want. It's all about getting in-game, testing it, seeing what it's like. Because, you know, sadly, the Source SDK engine, which is a source, does not offer, you know, easy real-time editing with the lighting and shadows and all that. So, basically, you have to do all this. So, you want enable shadows, yes. And, you know, north offset, um, where the sun is attached, near Z distance, clipping, you know, fall off uh, distance uh, of the sun. You know, it's all, you can bring the sun really close in so the shadows are, like, you know, dramatically changed from when it's really far out. All that, you know, there are plenty of things you can tweak and you can make this as good or as bad as you want it to look. And honestly, I don't know much about the entity myself. So I'm just going to leave all the settings stock apart from what um, I ha needed to change regarding with the light environment. So right now we're going to check for leaks, load the point file, nothing, going to save it again and we're going to compile, just going to leave it on fast. I think my compile button did something with that. Well, I'm not sure what that was, but we're going to go to normal. Actually, I'm just going, yeah, we're going to run this on normal. Um, and I'll see you back when we're in game. All right, uh, here we are back in game. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, the shadows are all there and they look pretty nice. Like I said, I could tweak them a little more, and if I turned up my graphics settings, they would look a lot better. But I have them pretty low because I'm running on a laptop right now. But, you know, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, you have any questions about anything, um, shoot me a PM or comment. Um, don't forget to like and favorite, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.